Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. Do you believe that Jesus can really take the small, insignificant things in your life and turn them into something great, something significant, something overwhelming? He, he can take little things like your smile or little things like my bank account or, or little things like our cars or our possessions, your words, and he can turn them into something that meet the needs of thousands of people here in Lake Havasu, Parker, and around the world. If you don't believe me, look at the passage of Scripture from Mark 6 when Jesus fed over 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. Are you kidding me? Over 5,000 people all left in this passage of Scripture, all left with their stomachs filled. See, crowds of people were following Jesus. They were hungry, and Jesus did not want to send them away. He told the disciples to bring him whatever they could find to eat and, and to feed 5,000 people. They had five loaves of bread and two fish. Now that seems like a certainty that people would leave hungry. Some would never return. But Jesus took that insignificant amount of food compared to the large crowd that was there. He blessed it. He handed it out. And after everybody ate, after everybody got their fill, the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of leftover bread and leftover fish. So what is our takeaway? Give what you have. Give what you can. Give what seems even small and insignificant and highly probable that it's not enough. And with God's blessing, God will be able to do immeasurably more with all your stuff than you ever could. What exactly? I don't know. But we can't use it's not enough as an excuse any longer. We read this passage of scripture. We see how God takes the not enough, blesses it, and uses it abundantly. So what exactly will God do with whatever it is that you have that's small and insignificant? I'm not sure. But let's find out together. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, and leave a comment. God bless.